Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. I mean, kind of saw you there. You're my camera. And my audience. So, once again, it's Jaeger. With his handy dandy notebook. Secret notebook. Don't look at that. Coming to you with the results, although a little belated, of AEW's Dark and Elevation. Now, this is a pretty lengthy list here of matches. So, I'm going to try and be as quick yet efficient as possible. Without further ado, I'm going to dive into this. AW Dark Elevation started on June 28th, opening with Ryan Nemeth and JD Drake of the Wingman going against Billy and Colton Gunn of the Gun Club. Now, I didn't realize they did this, but Billy and Colton Gunn do a rock, paper, scissors on who starts. Funny enough, Colton won, got the thing started, but it was over in pretty quick fashion with Billy Gunn pulling off the fame asser and uh, telling JD Drake he'll see him in hell. Something like that. I couldn't really translate. I didn't have subtitles. I'm a subtitle guy. But moving on. Huh. We had Penelope Ford and Valentina Rossi. This is Rossi's second match. And Penelope Ford takes a win by getting a reverse shoulder backbreaker. Reverse like on the shoulder, turned it into a reverse backbreaker. She falls on uh, her midsection. Well, I mean, she gets the knees into the midsection. Whatever. <clears throat> Next, we had Serpentico against Brian Cage. I don't think I need to tell you who won this, but Brian Cage won this. Um, then we had Carl Anderson against Wheeler Utah. Utah. Anyways, I thought he was an, a New Japan guy. He's not a New Japan guy. He comes from the same place that Orange Cassidy... Uh, Brody Lee and the like come from. Um, Brian Cage came out to the Taz the Team Taz entrance music and did a standing suplex vertical held into the drill claw, which in my opinion was pretty fucking impressive. Uh, after that we had Carl Ant whoa, sorry, had those reversed. Uh, after that we had Brock Anderson, Lee Johnson, and Dustin Rhodes against Adrian Alanis, Liam Gray, and Justin Carino. Um, a, a couple of these names might sound familiar, but needless to say, the Nightmare Factory took out the W with Dustin Rhodes getting the pin. Next up, we had the acclaimed comeback to action against uh, PB Smooth and Matt Justice. Pretty cool names. However, the acclaimed got the mic drop finish. Next, we had what I thought was a pretty close match between Riho and Kylan King. Riho started to use her size for the advantage and was dominating for most of the match, but you should never count out the Joshi warrior that is Riho, who pulled out a W here. Next, we had the Varsity Blondes versus Jake Logan and Aaron Rourke. Now, Jake Logan just sounds like a mixture of the Pauls, but I'm not going to give them that much credit beyond that. Um, the Varsity Blondes pick up like a very quick 30 second win. Next we had Thunder Rosa versus Catalina Perez. Thunder Rosa came out in some very Selena looking gear. Shouts and props to that. Being a Texas guy. Um, Thunder Rosa, I don't think I need to tell you one, but she won. Next, we had the Blade come out with against Chuck Taylor. I guess they're starting a rivalry, or they've you know started a rivalry. Um, Blade ended up cheating to win, and TH2 coming out to uh, bash on Chuck Taylor. After that, we had Private Party with Matt come out against uh, Five, Alex Reynolds, and Cole Cabana. Um, unfortunately. It was a pairing of wrestlers that you would not typically see otherwise, except to take an L, and that is what they did. Private Party and Matt went over. And then we had one of my bays of Dark, Rekka Tahaka, come out against uh, Sheeta. I don't think I need to tell you much more than that, but Sheeta won. 
Then finally we had Penta and Eddie Kingston go up against TH2 in a pretty good main event for Elevation. However, Penta and Eddie Kingston, knowing that they have a match on, well, it was Wednesday. So on Wednesday night. So, uh, yeah, they took out the third W. Moving on to Dark. <clears throat> Wardlow beat Baron Black. Lee Johnson beat Very Morales. Abaddon beat he Hyan? 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 I don't know. Hyan. Let's go with that. Powerhouse Hobbs took out Marco Stunt. <laughs> it was kind of funny to watch. Um, Lance Archer t came out very intimidating fashion, in a very intimidating fashion against a guy named Kenny Bengal who honestly looked at Lance Archer demanding him get in the ring and just was like, no, uh-uh, I'm going home. And Lance Archer dragged his ass back and gave him a helicoaster for the W. Tay Conti, ha, oh, Tay Conti, went up against Charlotte Renegade, and Tay Conti won. QT and Aaron Solo went up against Chad Lennox and Zachariah. QT and Aaron Solo took the W. Frankie Kazarian had a pretty damn good match against J.D. Drake. You should check it out. Um, but the Elite Hunter shot some game off the reservation. Uh, Angelico went on against Arjun Singh. That was a very nice technical match, but he got it with the... Uh, I forgot his finish or something, death roll. Um... Marvez had a little interview with Joey Janela, which didn't really go far, but did comment on his split from Sunny Kiss, which we'll get into a little bit later. Nyla Rose went on against Holly Dead. It was her in ring debut, so I'm sorry, Holly Dead, you took a loss. Now, as I was getting, as I mentioned a second ago, The Blade came out in a match against Sunny Kiss. Um, hard fought match, Sunny Kiss performing as well as he did. Uh, still took an L to the blade though. Uh, there was some after match shenanigans where they started beating up on Sunny Kiss and Chucky e. T and Orange Cassidy came out to assist him. And after everything was said and done, then Joey Janela came out all pumped up trying to shit talk the blade and TH2 to no avail. Uh, Joey Janela tried to help out Sunny Kiss like help him up to, from to her feet his feet her feet i'm sorry sonny i don't know the pronouns um sonny just did not care for that and shoved off joey janela so now nah, i ain't about you anymore um julia hart took on ashley dambois and ashley dambois was cheated damn it no um she did a very good job but she ended up doing the job and uh, Julia Hart took that W with a impressive leg split pin. Like, jumped on her, did a leg split, counted it as a pin. Uh, after that, we had Private Party and Jack Evans go up against Evil Uno, Stu Grayson, and Colt Cabana of the Dark Order. Now, anytime there's a likely ta or a known tag team, guess what? Dark Order's taking that W. That's exactly what they did. This match was a damn good match. Great trip, uh, six man action, and honestly should have been the main event. However, was not. Uh, there were two more matches after this. One was the captain, Sean Dean, making his return against JDX, which I don't know, almost feels like an offshoot of DMX RIP. But Sean Dean came out with a W with a margarita submission finisher. Uh, to kill sunrise and then some sugar on the rim anyways finally for our uh, main event we had Cesar Bononi and Ryan Nemeth of the wingmen they've got a pretty catchy intro not gonna lie and they went up against Sage Scott and Jake St. Patrick no and behold Cesar Bononi and Ryan Nemeth came out on top there and uh got their W to keep the wingmen looking strong in some fashion and uh, lo and behold that's it somewhat of a speed run but a lot of matches to go through sorry for the MIA we're gonna get back to it on a weekly basis 
starting next week. Well, I say yeah, starting this week. Anyways, any comments, questions, concerns, you can throw them in the comment section below. Like and subscribe to tag, or that way, this way, I don't know, some kind of a way. And this has been Jaeger, and I gotta give a too sweet to you. Bam! And as always, tag out.